That looks like the most cumbersome mech armor I have ever seen. Hey guys, it's 323 Starlight. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles X. Last time, we completed a few more affinity missions, including Renewed Will, which was a affinity mission that we needed to complete before moving on with the story. In this episode, we're going to co be completing a, f a few more aff affinity missions before continuing on, starting with this one. Level 13? I can do this. Primary destination, Oblivia? Oh, my current party exceeds the maximum size. Let's see who I can... Let's see who I can take off. Sorry, Arena, you're gonna have to leave. I keep doing that. Here we go. Alright, now let's begin the progress requirements. Accept backup request basic mission? Huh, where do I do that? Oh well, let's see if there are any other, uh, mi let's see if there are any other uh, mi missions, affin affinity missions. Hmm, are there any in the industrial district? Nope. I'm already in the residential district. What about commercial district? Are there any in there? Hmm. Okay, there's some right, right at the uh, commercial district. So let's o head over there. Anyone else kind of annoyed at the music for for uh, New LA? Cause it kind kind of sounds like just um, it kind of just sounds like bad um, but rap to me. Okay, the no wait, it's still up ahead. Right here, th there's the affinity mission. Okay, we got ties that bind. Ah, Tatsu come at perfect time. Friend of yours? Definitely not friend. Guess they're twin brothers. Tatsu far more handsome than Tora. I totally can't tell these nopon apart. <laughs> is eternal nemesis of Tatsu. Ah, so yeah, rivals. Tatsu meet Tora here in New L.A. Spark fly from eyes in first second. In that moment, Tatsu knew he would one day battle Tora for supreme no-pun supremacy. So like, frenemies? Yeah. Anyway, Tora has been looking for Tatsu. Tora have juicy and special bit of news to share. Hmm. Why would Tora share hush hush secret with Tatsu? To make Tatsu owe Tora favor, of course. So, No Pan Caravan recently moved into Noctilem. And Tatsu not care about stupid caravan. Oh no. Even if caravan is the Daga Caravan? <laughs> what? The Donga Caravan. Loading loading screen why you tease me. I want to know more. <laughs> oh, will you stop pacing around already? Yes, ma'am. So what's the big deal about this Dodonga caravan? Nopon are nomadic people, travel in caravans. Caravans are named after Nopon leader at time caravan is formed. So this is a caravan established by a Nopon named Dodonga? Yes, Dodonga is great hero pon who made even greater caravan. But what's any of that got to do with you, Tatsu? 
everything to do with Tatsu. Tatsu was born in the Donga Caravan. Mama Pan still lived there. Your mother's there? Why haven't you gone to see her before this? Caravan moves every few days. And Tatsu lose track of the Donga Caravan after being captured. Tatsu could not go back for visit even if Tatsu wanted to. But now that you know where it is, are you going to go back? Now Tatsu is pillar of Blade community. If Tatsu leave, entire city could come crashing down. Or maybe no one would notice. Oh. <laughs> All right, you two. Let's go pay this caravan a visit together. It can be a goodwill tour of sorts. Hey, yeah. I want to see where Tatsu comes from. Say it sounds like fun. Yeah, I may as well be a nice guy right here. I'm curious to see what a Nopon caravan is like. Do you live in trees like big fat squirrels? Okay then. Tatsu is ready. Ready to confront demons of past. Ready to face uncertain future. Ready to visit Mama Pan. What a little drama queen. <laughs> okay, here we go. Head to Tatsu's childhood home of the Dodonga caravan and get him to confront his past. This actually sounds kind of sweet. Let's do this. Okay, which way? This way, I think. Okay, I'm lost. Where am I? Ah. There we are. Okay, let's go ahead and fast travel. Well, as soon as this loads. Come on. There we go. I wonder what's the point of a of a loading screen if it's gonna finish loading before the progress bar even fills up all the way. Alright, let's be... Let's start making our trek over there. Woo wee! Yee! Level 30s and 39s! We have no choice but to fight. Where'd you come from? Okay, at least it's not a uh, level 30 so we can survive an attack from it. Okay, escaped. Wayward tr Waterway Triangle. Yikes. Okay, the... Where's the caravan is up this way? Is it through that cave we passed by? Let's try through here. Yes, this seems like a better route. I don't think I passed through here the last time we came. And, well, there's the caravan, I think. Yeah, that's the caravan.
this bring back memories? Tatsu finally back in the Donga caravan, where it all began. Hmm? Is that Tatsu? Tatsu? No. Tatsu was eaten alive by Prone. Datapon! It's Datapon! Datapon! Cook dinner! Datapon the presents? Hey! Wait one minute! You left all these children behind? Are you telling me you're actually just some middle-aged deadbeat? <laughs> Friends misunderstand! Tatsu's still sweet no hum boy of 14. Hush, little pawn. That is not your dad a pawn. That is your brother pawn. <laughs> Mama pawn. That's Tatsu's mom? Yes, Coco. Mama pawn of Tatsu. Well, I suppose you'd better introduce us. Funny pawn. <laughs> Well, say hello to the Nopon Caravan. So, so in this game, Nopon really are the um, the um, nomadic. In the uh, in in Xenoblade Chronicles, the first one, they weren't really nomadic. Coco never dreamed for a minute that Tatsu still alive. Tatsu also give up hope when he was dragged off by Nasty Prone. But then, a new friend saved Tatsu. Oh, where are Coco's manners? Coco is very pleased to meet Tatsu's hero pond friends. The pleasure is ours, Coco. I'm Elma, a friend of your son's. And I'm Lynn. Nice to meet ya. I'm not gonna tease. <laughs> oh, friend of Tatsu is so charming and obviously smart. Tatsu is just glad to see Mama Pond safe. Caravan scattered to four winds after attack. That must have been terrible. Tatsu thought home was gone forever. I'm glad you made it back, Tatsu. Thank you, Lily. Oh, Tatsu is now 13 years old, Mama Pan. That means he is full grown Nopa. And now Tatsu is ready to accept glasses Mama Pan says she hold until he turned 13. Uh, right. Those. Uh oh. Are they special in some way? Very. Dada Pan wear glasses when he was young, Nopan. Tatsu inherited glasses, but promised not to wear them until all grown up. Where's your father now? Uh, Tatsu, not one to talk about it. He's dead. Oh, sorry. Coco, sorry too, Tatsu. Coco was sure Tatsu was gobbled up. So Coco hurled glasses into sea. <laughs> it's old Nopan tradition. Loved one entrusts item to sea, so it can float to absent Nopan. But those glasses special. Glasses are only thing Tatsu have to remember that upon. Yeah, let's offer to help find the glasses. That's right. If she threw them in the ocean, they probably washed up somewhere. Hey, Lily, right. All hope not lost just yet. Miss Coco, would you show me where you threw the glasses? I'll see if I can track the current. Of course! And they should be right about... Here. That's not far from an L.A. Tatsu, go there right away! Alright, let's see where the, the glasses ended up. Oh, they're... Oh, well, they're right. It isn't far from New LA. Let's go ahead and fast travel to Shadow Rise. Alright, 
let's sprint. Hopefully the glasses will be easy to spot. And leap! Oh, we're friggin' bionic. Hmm. No luck. Same here. Hmm? How did you see? Yes, not so super sure. It's headed for the base of the falls. Let's move. Things are never simple, are they? They're just never simple. Why is that? Why are things never as simple as they sound to be? I mean, think back to... Has anyone ever played Mo Su Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door? Remember that mission to find... What's his name? Uh, General White? Remember how you had to go through almost every area you previously visited just to try to find the guy? And it's never as simple as just waiting for him to come back. Why, Nintendo? Why? Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to climb this. Headwater Summit. I love fast travel. Hopefully the... Upcoming open world Zelda is gonna have some fast travel. I'm just saying this, but the sec the second I saw that monster, I was like, "Is that Xerneas?" No, wait, that's just a Xenoblade mo monster. That thing looks a lot like Xerneas from Pokemon. Sixth generation. To be honest, I actually thought this mission was gonna get go a lot smoother. I mean, we found but we found the caravan pretty fairly easily, and hmm. uh, where is it? Is it underneath? Is it underneath us? Because I don't see it. Wait, they said heading for the base of the waterfall. Maybe there's a cave in the waterfall. Well, it's worth a look. Again, we survived because we're freaking bionic. There isn't a cave. It looks like there should be a cave somewhere. I don't know, let's look around. Ah, there! Hello, guy whose name whose name is who doesn't speak English. And he's not very useful. Sorry. Headwater cave. Yeah, this is probably where our little 
glasses thief is. There we are. Just gotta find a way to him. Right here, right through here. Hmm. Ooh, what else did it get? There we go. Yay! Tatsu got them back. I'm really happy for you. Coco will be thrilled to hear it. Let's go share the news. Right. Yes, let's go tell the irresponsible mother that we got the glasses back. Alright, can I fast travel over there? No, I can't. I'm going to have to run all the way there. At least I remembered to go into the cave. Yes, we do. We do have a choice. You just run. Yes, you can. Just swim. See ya. Gosh, I love how how pretty this place is in the dark. Maybe without the lights, it would be better. Unbelievable! Tatsu really fine glasses. <laughs> is Mama Pan proud of Tatsu? Mama Pan is proud that Tatsu have wonderful friends to help. There's no fooling her. Go on, Tatsu. Try on glasses. Right. What the heck? Well, glasses give Tatsu refined and mature look, right? Coco <laughs> uh, reminded of Hubby Pan when he was young. Tatsu looks just like No Pan that Coco first fall in love with. Those are your memento of your father? Memento? Not even funny, Lindley. Lindley make it sound like Tatsu that upon already kicked Bucket. Wait, he's alive? Sorry, I thought... So where is your father then? Hubby Pan chosen as Hero Pan of Legend for this year. Right! Ancient No Pan tradition says Hero Pan of Legend go off to fight wicked gods. This year was Turn of Dad upon. I'm not sure it's a good idea to pick heroes based on turns. Still, it's quite the honor. Honor is less important than paycheck. Hubby Pond better slay a few dozen gods if he plans to feed many children. He have until end of year to rack up bonus and cover expenses. Oh, come on. <laughs> Didn't Tatsu say you know Pond were Please take pacifists? Me Tatsu, friends. Are you sure you don't want to stay with your family? Hmm. <laughs> Tell him he should say, in case you need rations. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh my gosh, the choices in this game. Now... Friends not need Tatsu anymore? Yeah, actually, I never really... Lynn, never, don't no, finish that said. sentence. Nothing, nothing. Good girl. Blade is true home of Tatsu now. Besides, now Tatsu can come back and visit Caravan anytime. This is true. Just remember, Tatsu is next in line to be Caravan leader. Work hard with nice friends and become no pawn worthy of title. Uh, he's going to lead you? Did Coco forget to mention? Present leader of Dodonga Caravan is Coco. What? So one day, Tatsu will follow in footsteps of Mama Pan. Then Tatsu will be most important no pawn in Caravan. God have mercy on them. Legendary no pawn spice. Coco wants friends to have it. Really? Gee, thanks! Okay, Mama Pan. Tatsu leaving, but we'll visit again soon. Mama Pan will be waiting. Mission accomplished. Strength comes from experience. That was certainly the mo one of the most uplifting m missions I've ever done. And there's a side quest here too. Let's see what it's what, what it's about. Where we turn to panic, turn to crisis. What next? Meh, meh, meh. Someone, anyone, help. Uh, what's wrong? It's a tale of woe for everyone involved, but mo but mostly no Nasusu. F Nasusu finally opens store, but custom where traffic is terrible. At this rate, Nats Nasusu go out of business in no time. Nasusu no nowhere near ready to close up shop yet, but what can Nasusu do? Uh, maybe it's the location. But, but to be tru truthy, Nasusu really want to open shop in Dodongo. 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 Which is that? I don't know. Grammy Pond, a fr friend Pond, a cousin Pond, Grammy Pond, blah blah blah. Of Natsu ran shop here while Granny Pond was young. So this place holds deep meaning for Nasusu. Oh goodness! Spreading those across the all space of time is a lifelong dream of Nasusu and. How does you believe all races on Mira would love traditional handcrafts of no pawn? That is why Nasusu tries so hard. But it no use. Stream of Nasusu is now lying in tiny broken pieces. At this rate, Nasusu have no choice but to close up shop. Technique for handcrafts will die out with Nasusu. If only Nasusu had some signature product that could draw in crowd. All right, human no friend no Tatsu. Human, human. Ah, that's perfect. Friend must understand that handcrafts of no pawn are terribly unpopular with humans. Really? But even friends could all wear no, no pawn hats. That are simply an amazing idea. That's an amazing idea. With right materials, Nasu can Nasusu can design hat uh, that all humans will love. Please help Tatsu with this dream. Uh, sure. Six na knock, knock to listen dragonflies. Some Harginia cotton and two lava mangoes. Uh, sure. Oh, except this. This this is certainly not a mission. Oh, I already got a couple of the pieces. Just need the lava mangoes and the horinja cotton. But anyways, I think I'm gonna end the episode right here. All right. Next time on Z Xenoblade Chronicles X, we're gonna return to the commercial district and do the other aff affinity mission that that was located over there. See you guys later.